Carter and Lord Carnarvon discovered King Tut's tomb in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt in 1922. As a child, King Tutankhamun sat upon a chair just like this one. It is carved in ebony and inlaid with ivory. On the arms of the chair, there is an antelope and floral arrangement embossed in gold. The chariot displayed here is an exact replica of a pharaoh's chariot used for ceremonial purposes during the 14th century BC. Many were lavishly decorated with gold inlay, colored glass, and precious stones. The ancient Egyptians would bend lightweight wood and use leather straps for its construction. The wheels were oversized and often covered with rawhide. The king's bed is carved in gesso and gilded in gold. The bed itself was created with string mesh. Many beds for the king, such as this one, were placed into the tomb so that the king was able to enjoy a comfortable and relaxing afterlife. King Tut begins his rule at nine years of age. Nine years later, he dies under mysterious circumstances. coffins that held babies. The babies died shortly after birth. It was just discovered that the babies were Tut's children. The cow's head and the dog were meant by ancient Egyptians to protect the tomb from evil spirits and grave robbers. The golden throne was originally found in the antechamber. This throne is carved in wood and gilded in gold with semi-precious stones adorning a mural on the back. This mural displays the king being anointed by his wife, Nakasinamun. This naturalistic pose is typical of the Marna period, a period of art renaissance. I got demons in my house. I know it in no mouth. A collection of statues such as this one were found in the antechamber, annex, and treasury. The figures replicate the image of Tutankhamun. This particular statue was of Tutankhamun standing upon a leopard carrying a spear and foil for a hunting expedition. I got demons in my head, and I should have stayed in bed. I got demons in my head, in my head, in my head, in my head. A small canopy chest was found in the treasury. The blue jars contained the eyes and tongue of the king. The process of mummification spanned over 70 days. The internal organs were extracted so that the king would be able to retrieve them in the afterlife. people have been wondering how he died. It was just discovered that there was probably a fatal injury to his knee that got infected and killed him. This white painted tripod stool with feline legs was thought to be the king's fishing stool. Other sordid stools were found throughout the tomb, such as a collapsible traveling chair. I got demons in my head, and I should have stayed in bed. I got demons in my head, in my head, in my head, in my head. Spirit in my house. Spirit. This oil vase 
base is carved out of a single block of alabaster. Oils were used for cooking and lighting, as well as cosmetics, anointments, and mummification. The oils were precious and valuable, and thought to be the motive of the two robberies that occurred in the tomb. Spirit in my house. Spirit in my house. These smaller oil vessels were found throughout the tomb. Oils of that time period were made of different plant extracts, such as nuts from the moringa tree and flax, two common plants of that era. Shawab teas, such as these, were made of various materials such as hard painted wood, gesso gilt quartzite, calcite, and limestone, and a wide range of colored finance. The Shawab teas were included in the tomb to assist the king with the more tedious tasks of the afterlife. There were over 400 Shawab teas found in King Tutankhamun's tomb. I got demons in my house, I don't know it ain't no mouse. I got demons in my house, in my house, in my house, in my house. These necklaces are made from a variety of stones chosen for the rich colors. Quartz, lapis lazuli, and amethyst are among the semi-precious stones that adorn the king's neck. The necklaces themselves are in a floral motif symbolizing the Egyptian seasons and the vegetation. The colors above are made of gold. Predominantly, collars and necklaces such as these were found in the antechamber. The vulture collar symbolizes the god Nekbet, ruler of Upper Egypt. In the annex, numerous baskets and wine vessels were found. The baskets were thought to hold berries and fruit for provisions for the king's journey into the afterlife. The wine vessels had hieroglyphic inscriptions on them stating the wine vintage and vintage date. Robbers left the tomb in disarray after scavenging for goods. Yeah.